Hello everyone and welcome to another week's tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create dynamic pages in Wix. We're going to go straight to the point and step by step. Before we go there, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content, so thank you very much in advance. And let's get started. So we are going to go to our Wix backend. We are going to say we want to edit our website and we are going to land to the Wix Studio. We are going to navigate to the left hand side and we are going to click here CMS. And we are going to say we want to start now. So now the CMS is going to load. And the first thing that we need to do is to create a new collection, right? So we are going to go here to your collections and we are going to create a collection. Now we're going to say we want to start from scratch. We're going to keep it simple, right? Because once we understand how to create something from scratch, then you will be able to do it with AI or with CSV Excel. So we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to call this test dynamic pages, for example. And let's say that this is going to be a multi-item collection, which means that our intention is not to have, let's say, one page. Our intention is to have multiple pages created with this collection, right? So we're going to say create. And now we're going to come to this screen, which is the CMS, and have a look what is happening here basically in this screen, right? So we are going to say we want to add an item here with this button, which is under my head. Let me move myself. And we are going to say that this is maybe, let's say, page A. And now what we're going to do, we're going to save. Now we are able to add more pages, basically, here, more items. We're going to add fields. So let's say that we want to create multiple pages. I don't know, that are relevant to templates or whatever, let's say, you choose. Products, courses, you name it, books and so forth. I'm going to add a field and I'm going to say, for example, that uh, this is going to be text and this is going to be my headline. So I'm going to, to name the field header, right? So when I'm going to save, you're going to see where and how we're going to use all these things. And now we're going to click on add a field and we're going to say, let's add, let's say, another text here and this is going to be our subheader. And we're going to save. And let's add another field here. And then we're going to, to say this is another text. And this is going to be the description. Let's assume that this is a book. And let's say that we want to insert some images to these dynamic pages. So we are going to add another field here. And we are going to say here that this is going to be an image, right? So we can scroll down and we can see all the little things that we can actually add to our dynamic page. And then this is going to be an image and then we can call this image and we're going to save. So now I have multiple, let's say, pages that we're going to create with this collection. So page A, page B, page C, page D. And let's actually give some entries here, right? So let's say this is going to be headline A. This is going to be headline B. So let's fill in all these details to begin with. So this text is going to act as my header, my headline in the dynamic pages that I'm going to create. This is going to be the subheader A, B, C, D, and so forth. This is going to be, let's say, my, my description. So now I'm just adding some placeholder text just to give you an example, right? So we're just going to call it disk A, disk B, and so forth. We're not going to upload the images now just to save time, but you get the point. So imagine again, we want to create multiple pages in one go. We want to be able to upload the content dynamically or modify the content dynamically. That's what I want to do, right? So now we created these four items and we are ready to go basically. So what do we mean by that? 
So now we have this collection here, right? What we're going to do now is to create a new page. So I'm going to go to pages. I'm going to say I want to add a page and I'm going to select dynamic page. If you already have an existing page, so let's say we already have an existing new page here that is empty. What I can also do is I can go to this page, I can click the three dots and I can say I want to convert this to a dynamic page. It's the same thing. So we either create a dynamic page which is the easiest thing to do, or we have an existing page, we're going to click the three dots and we're going to say we want to convert to dynamic page. The process is exactly the same. So let's add a dynamic page. The system will ask me now, where do you want to collect this page to? And we are going to say we want to collect this page to this collection that we just created. We're going to go with blank page and we're going to add this page to the site. So this one page is going to represent all your dynamic pages, right? So all your dynamic pages are going to be represented by this one page, which means that we can actually design this page once, and this design will apply to every single dynamic page. You can see here now we have a dynamic page in the left-hand side. Now let's add some elements here. So we're going to add the title, we're going to add another title, which is going to be the subheader. We're going to add maybe a paragraph that is going to be the description. And let's actually here say that this is going to be my header. This is going to be my subheader. So let me edit the text so you can understand what we're doing. And this is going to be my description, right? So all I have to do now under my dynamic page is select these elements click this symbol here that says connect to CMS, and then I'm going to choose the collection we created before, and we're going to say this text connects to, and this is where the fields that we created before are going to be useful. We're going to say this text connects to the header, and now we're going to click the subheader. We're going to say it connects to CMS, and the text connects to the subheader, and now we're going to click here to description. We're going to say this text connects to description. And that's it actually. So let's see how it works so that we can get a better feel of what we just did, right? So what we just did is we created a dynamic page. We have four pages that are part of our collection. We filled in all the information behind the scenes in our collection and now it's going to reflect to these dynamic pages. So if I press here view to preview, so you see here this is page A. So we have headline A, subheader A, description A. But if I change to C, now you can see that everything actually here pulls the values from my collection. And if I change to D, everything pulls the values from my collection. At any point, you can come here, you can manage your collection, you can come back here to this basically screen. So let's actually go to our collection. We can change the values here for our different pages. And that's how we can actually create dynamic pages in Wix Studio. Now, very important, right? How can I customize the URL? The name of your collection is going to be the name of the folder. So you see here, for example, I named this collection Test Dynamic Pages. The name of the folder is Test Dynamic Pages. And the name I gave here is going to be the name of my page. So this is page B, C, D, and so forth. That's it. That's how easy it is to create collections with Wix Studio and create dynamic pages on the back of these collections. I hope that you found this video useful. You were able to create your own dynamic pages. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day in any time zone. Thank you, everyone.